NBA records that Dwayne Wade has broken over his 14 year NBA career. We did a records video for Russell Westbrook, did a video for LeBron, a record video for Steph Curry, and we did it for Kobe. Now we gotta do it for Dwayne Wade, and these are six NBA records Wade broke, and some of them are stats he has only completed. One of the best shooting guards to step on an NBA court, Prime D Wade is one of my favorite players of all time. He was so good at creating his own shot to get to the rim or hitting that turnaround mid-range jump shot. It was only right to make a video about him talking about his career and some records. And of course, if you have any other player record video ideas, let me know. I've been thinking about doing one for Wilt Chamberlain, maybe Kevin Durant, but if you think there's another player's records I should look at, let me know in the comments. And if you like these type of record videos, don't forget to leave a like. It takes a second and helps my channel grow. Shout out to everybody that came through from the LeBron video and everybody that was here before. So let's go through six NBA records that Dwayne Wade broke. Dwayne Wade has the record for most playoff blocks by a guard in NBA history, and he passed Michael Jordan. He broke it in his last season with Miami in the first round versus the Charlotte Hornets. Jordan had 158 playoff blocks. Just to give you a sense of some big men that Dwayne Wade is ahead of in playoff blocks, he has more than Carl Malone, Horace Grant, Moses Malone, and Vladi Divac. Wade ranks 25th all-time in playoff blocks. The most recognizable part of Wade's defensive play is by far his ability to play the passing lanes when he's playing off the ball, whether to make that last second block or steal. He was super quick moving side to side and he had great instincts to make the block, but he also has a 6 foot 10 wingspan, so he's able to use that long reach and vertical to elevate and punch the ball out. Just to put his wingspan in perspective, Kelly Olnick has a 6 foot 10 wingspan and Wade is about 6 inches shorter than him. It's the same thing with Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin has a wingspan about the same of his height, and Wade is one of those smaller NBA guys who have wingspans as big as some players who play power forward. And just to end this record off with a random block stat from Wade, these are the players he has blocked the most over his career. He's blocked Joe Johnson and Dwight Howard nine times over his career. The next two highest he blocked are Vince Carter and Andre Miller, and he's blocked guys like Kobe, Derrick Rose, and Ray Allen seven times each over his career. I'll leave a link in the description to the source so you can see who else he has blocked. Let's go into record number two. Dwayne Wade is the youngest player in NBA history to average 30 points in an NBA Finals series en route to an NBA championship. Wade was 24 years old when he averaged 34.7 points against the Dallas Mavericks in the 2006 NBA Finals where they won in six games. He scored 43 in game six and 36 in game seven to help them win. He averaged almost three steals and grabbed seven rebounds per game in those six NBA Finals games. I was doing research to see who was the youngest Finals MVPs ever. So Magic Johnson is the youngest player to win a Finals MVP. He did it at the age of 20 back in 1980. And the most recent youngest Finals MVP was Kawhi Leonard, who was 22 in 2014. I know there's a lot of controversy and debate about the 2006 NBA Finals between Dallas and Miami, but I'm not getting into that. So let's go into record number three, another blocks record. Dwayne Wade has the record for most career regular season blocks for a player under six foot four. This is a very specific record. I think it's pretty cool to me because the record is very old. He passed up the late Dennis Johnson as the NBA's leader for blocks for players under six foot four and shorter. Dennis Johnson was the point guard for the Boston Celtics in the 1980s and he helped them win two championships. It was block number 676 at the time and he broke it back in December of 2013 and he blocked a Kemba Walker jump shot. Wade's block numbers were low the past few seasons as he's aged and had injuries. But never forget the guy had four straight seasons of averaging a block per game as a six foot four guard. Really impressive. Now this is not the last block record on the list. We have one more. D Wade is the first player six foot four or shorter to have a season with at least a hundred blocks. The first ever. The last record was about most career blocks for a player under six foot four. Now this one is for blocks in a season at that height or shorter. He did it in the 2008-2009 season, which is the best Dwayne Wade season in my opinion. That could be up for debate. That was him at full athletic strength. He averaged 30 points per game, seven assists, and five rebounds on 49% shooting. 100 blocks at the height of six foot four is just crazy. It definitely takes a lot of energy to be making plays on defense while being the number one option where teams are sending double teams at you to get the ball out of your hand because you're dropping 30 a night and getting to the free throw line. Also, just a little stat on the side, not a record, 
Wade had 150 steals and 100 blocks that 2009 season, and Draymond was the first player to complete that steals and block stat this year since Wade did it, so it was almost a decade that we had someone have 150 steals and 100 blocks in a season. Pretty cool. Wade had three seasons where he was second all defensive team, and I thought he should have had at least one year where he was on first team defense because Wade's defense in his prime was crazy. He was everywhere making plays, but enough NBA blocks records. Let's go into the last two Wade records. Dwayne Wade is the only player in NBA history to have a season with at least 2,000 points, 500 assists, 100 steals, and 100 blocks. And he did it in the 2008 and 2009 season, which I just talked about in the last record. That was an all-time great all-around season. I checked all of Jordan's seasons, but he fell just short of it in a couple seasons in the late 80s. He had the points, blocks, and steals, but he was just short of the assists and rebounds. When you check all of LeBron's seasons, he was really close to this too, but he fell short in the blocks category in the 2009 year. And no, I'm not saying he's better than Jordan or LeBron, but rather just saying D-Wade's 2009 NBA season was amazing and dominant on both sides of the court. If he had a better supporting cast around him, he definitely could have had a deeper playoff run because the Heat got beaten seven games to the Atlanta Hawks in the first round that year. Wade was averaging 30, and his second and third leading scores was averaging 12 and 10 points per game. If he had that second go-to guy around him in 2009, the Heat would have had a way better record than 42 and 40. Now this last one is really specific, but I like these type of stats to be honest. Dwayne Wade is the only player in NBA history to have a game with 40 points, 10 assists, and 5 blocks. A bunch of guys have had games with 40 points and 10 assists, but while Wade was scoring 40 and dishing out 10 assists, he wasn't taking any plays off on defense and stopping shots at the rim. You can go on basketballreference.com to check this out. I'll leave it in the description. He's literally the only one to complete the stat of 40 points, 10 dimes, and 5 blocks. And he did it back in the 2008 2009 season again that season that I've been talking about the whole video he did it against Chris Bosh and the Toronto Raptors he scored 40 out of the Heat's 95 points in a loss Udonis Haslam shot one of eight that game Mario Chalmers shot two of eight again super specific stat but it definitely shows off how great Wade is on both sides of the court and that's it for six NBA records Dwayne Wade has broken as always, when I do these type of videos, if you have any other player record video ideas, let me know in the comments. As I said in the beginning, I've been thinking about doing Will Chamberlain, maybe Kevin Durant. As always, if you made it to this far to the video, leave a like. That LeBron video blew up and we're going to be closed in on 10K subs soon. So shout out to everybody that liked the video and subscribed to stick around and shout out to everybody before that. The NBA Finals will be here very soon and I'll have a bunch of video ideas. I'm probably going to be doing like recaps for every single game so we can get the channel some momentum going throughout June. I'm out for now. New video Sunday at 12 Eastern. You can always expect a video then. So I'll see you guys then.